in this video we are going to talk about bacterial vaginosis so before talking about bacterial infection of vagina let's talk about normal vaginal flora so normal vaginal flora is the presence of microorganisms in the vagina now which type of microorganisms so the vagina contains many good bacteria which is important to keep vagina healthy these good bacteria consist of bacterial species mainly lactobacillus species most common being l crispatus l inners l jenseni and l gasseri this healthy environment is always maintained by the lactobacillus when this healthy atmosphere of vagina gets disrupted we get lots of infection these bacteria plays important role in making vaginal ph acidic they produce lactic acid which makes vagina acidic with normal ph range from 3.8 to 4.5 these lactobacilli also produces hydrogen peroxide which inhibit growth of unwanted microorganisms hydrogen peroxide producing lactobacilli have been shown to inactivate hiv1 herpes simplex virus type 2 that is hsv2 trichomonas vaginalis g vaginalis pbvia and escherichia coli so basically these normal flora of vagina maintains acidic environment by production of lactic acid thus prevents many type of infections that can be a bacterial infection or fungal infection now generally which types of infection a woman suffer so there are different types of vaginal infections like vaginal candidiasis which is vaginal yeast or we can say fungal infection or it can be trichomoniasis which is vaginal parasitic infection or it could be bacterial vaginosis in this video we are going to talk about bacterial vaginosis that is bv so the bacterial vaginosis is a common vaginal infection that happens when some normal bacteria that lives in the vagina overgrows causing a bacterial imbalance bacterial vaginosis is the most common vaginal problem for a woman ages 15 to 44 bv is defined by the disequilibrium in the vaginal microbiota with a decline in the number of lactobacilli while the infection involves a number of bacteria it is believed that most infections start with gardnerella vaginalis creating a biofilm which allows other opportunistic bacteria to thrive is bacterial vaginosis contagious so see bacterial vaginosis doesn't spread from person to person but sexual activity can increase your risk of getting the infection is bacterial vaginosis an std that is sexually transmitted disease so bacterial vaginosis isn't sexually transmitted disease but it is linked with a sexual activity researchers think that sex may change the bacterial environment in your vagina this makes bacterial overgrowth more likely now what are the risk factors of bacterial vaginosis any woman can get bv but your risks are higher if you smoke if you are sexually active or a dutch a dutch is a device used to introduce a stream of water into the body for medical or hygienic reasons or the stream of water itself dutch usually refers to vaginal irrigation the rinsing of the vagina dutching upsets the natural balance of bacteria so can scented soaps bubble baths and vaginal deodorants a new sex partner or having more than one makes it more likely that you will get bv 
इट इज इंट क्लियर वाई बट वुमेन वो हैव फीमेल पार्टनर्स आर मोस्ट एट रिस्क यू कैन गेट बी वी फ्रॉम ओरल एंड एनाल सेक्स द आई डी बर्थ कंट्रोल डिवाइस विच फिट्स इन साइड यूर यूटरिस हैज बिन लिंक्ड टू बी वी स्पेशली इफ यू हैव इरेग्युलर ब्लीडिंग बट इट डजेंट क्लियर वेदर इट्स अ डायरेक्ट कॉज यू कांट गेट वजाइनल इन्फेक्शन लाइक बी वी फ्रॉम स्विमिंग पूल्स और पब्लिक टॉयलेट सीट्स Now let's see the symptoms of bacterial vaginosis. Up to eighty-four percent of people with bacterial vaginosis don't have symptoms. If you do, you may have off-white, grey, or greenish color vaginal discharge. Discharge that smells fishy. Fishy smell that is strongest after sex or during the menstrual cycle. rarely an itchy or sore vagina c bv symptoms are similar to other infections it's important to visit your healthcare provider to determine if what you have is bv or another vaginal infection now how can you diagnose bacterial vaginosis so a doctor's evaluation is necessary examination of sample of the discharge and fluid from the cervix if girls or women have a vaginal discharge that is unusual or that lasts for more than few days they should see a doctor doctors suspect bacterial vaginosis based on symptoms such as a grey discharge that smells fishy they then ask questions about the discharge and possible cause such as sexually transmitted infections to confirm the diagnosis doctors do a pelvic examination while examining the vagina the doctors takes a sample of the discharge with a cotton tip swab as shown in figure the sample is examined under microscope with information from this examination the doctor can usually identify the microorganism causing the symptoms if test results are inconclusive other newer test can be done using the samples obtained during the pelvic examination usually the doctor also uses a swab to take a sample of fluid from the cervix the lower part of the uterus that opens into the vagina This sample is tested for sexually transmitted infections. To determine whether there are other infections in the pelvis, the doctor checks the uterus and ovaries by inserting the index and middle fingers of one gloved hand into the vagina and pressing on the outside of the lower abdomen with the other hand. if this maneuver causes substantial pain or if a fever is present other infections may be present to make a diagnosis of bacterial vaginosis a swab from inside the vagina should be obtained these swabs can be tested for gram stain which shows the depletion of lactobacilli and overgrowth of gardnerella vaginalis bacteria bacterial vaginosis is usually confirmed by a gram stain of vaginal secretions a characteristic fishy odor on wet mount this taste is called the whiff taste it is performed by adding a small amount of potassium hydroxide to a microscopic slide containing the vaginal discharge a characteristic fishy odor is considered a positive whiff test and is suggestive of bacterial vaginosis loss of acidity to control bacterial growth the vagina is normally slightly acidic with a ph of 3.8 to 4.2 a swab of the discharge is put onto litmus paper to check its acidity a ph greater than 4.5 is considered alkaline and is suggestive of bacterial vaginosis the presence of clue cells on wet mount 
similar to the whiff test the test for clue cells is performed by placing a drop of sodium chloride solution on a slide containing vaginal discharge if present clue cells can be visualized under microscope they are so named because they give a clue to the reason behind the discharge these are epithelial cells that are coated with bacteria can bacterial vaginosis clear up on its own c in one third of cases bacterial vaginosis resolve on its own without any medications however if you have symptoms you should seek medical care having bv makes you prone to sexually transmitted infections and can affect pregnancy what is the treatment for bacterial vaginosis so your doctor will prescribe antibiotics typically metronidazole or clindamycin these medications come in a gel or cream you insert into your vagina they also come in pills you can take orally how can i lower my risk of bacterial vaginosis as i have already told you the doctor can prescribe antibiotics to treat bv this could be tablet you take by mouth or a cream or gel you put into your vagina you will need to take most treatments for 5 to 7 days finish all your medicines even if the symptoms go away if you stop early the infection could come back since bv can be spread through sex don't have sexual contact until you are done taking your medicine and your symptoms are gone if your partner is another woman they may want to see their doctor to find out if they need treatment because bacterial vaginosis isn't fully understood there are no foolproof ways of avoiding it following steps may reduce your risk avoid touching it changes the natural balance of bacteria in your vagina instead practice healthy vaginal and vulvar care avoid vaginal contact with anything that has touched your anus things like toilet paper could transfer bacteria found in your poop to your vagina limit your number of sex partners research shows you are more likely to get bv if you have multiple sex partners use latex condoms or dental dams although it's unclear why research indicates that sexual activity is associated with bv wear cotton or cotton line underwear bacteria thrive in moist environments cotton helps wick away moisture should i be treated for bacterial vaginosis if i am pregnant see if you have bacterial vaginosis your provider can prescribe medication that's safe to use during pregnancy you should get treated for the infection whether or not you have symptoms bv can cause pregnancy complications such as early delivery or having baby that weighs less than average now what are the complications bacterial vaginosis doesn't generally cause complications sometimes having bacterial vaginosis may lead to preterm birth in pregnant women bacterial vaginosis is linked to premature deliveries and low birth weight babies sexually transmitted infections having bacterial vaginosis makes women more susceptible to sexually transmitted infections such as hiv herpes simplex virus chlamydia or gonorrhea if you have hiv bacterial vaginosis increases the odds that you will pass the virus on to your partner infection risk after gynecologic surgery having bacterial vaginosis may increase the risk of developing a post surgical infections after procedures such as hysterectomy or dilation dnc pelvic inflammatory disease that is pid bacterial vaginosis can sometimes cause pid an infection of the uterus and the fallopian tubes that can increase the risk of infertility
so researchers do not know the cause of bv however we do know the condition most often occurs in those who are sexually active bv is a result of an imbalance of good and harmful bacteria in the vagina dutching not using condoms and having new or multiple sex partners can upset the normal balance of vaginal bacteria increasing your risk for getting bv hope you understood well if you like this video then subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon do like comment and share this video have a happy learning